this video i'll be making a full game in just one sprite yes you heard that right just one sprite opening a new project would give us the perfect base to start this challenge with and since scratch can always get deleted in project i mean like literally like always when you open a project i will be using it this time and i think i got a perfect idea of how to use it starting off with deleting this costume no one actually needs it and you also don't need the body part of scratch care because like who cares oops and we just need the head right on the center let's rename it to head and you might wonder of how we'll be actually coding a whole game using just one sprite and the answer is using the power of clothes and yeah fun fact connect these three blocks together and then click it so starting off, we need to make a new block to be organized, clone number, no, and it's really important, tick run with us, create refresh, then we reflect, click, we need to make a new variable called clone ID, and we need to set it to this sprite only, really important, so our clone gets it in visual ID, we need to set clone ID to zero, then we need to set our clone number, for now, let's just put it one, we need to repeat, the number of times to create clone of myself and of course we need to change our id by one and of course we need to hide the original sprite and when i start as a clone forever grab it if statement and if clone id equals one we need to show so by separating each clone by ids you can actually customize each and every clone which is really really fancy 100 boom need to go to front layer too close then we need a background let's, then i actually select the color of our scratch cat so let's use the fill and then we get this hex color, just copy it, we paste it, boom, we got the exact color. So we need to make it a little bit darker. And we could easily set our clone to 2, duplicate this. If clone num equals 2, we need to switch costume to our BG. So then we need to switch costume to our head. And we set this to back layer, set our size to just 100. So I think I can reset it back to the original color. Yeah, I think that's just better. So now we need to make a variable called cache. So I'll just rename this to cache. And then we need to set our cache to zero and start. And drag an if statement, touching mouse pointer and if mouse down. Then we need to wait until not mouse down change our cache or score or just anything by one right click select raspberry read our center it now if you click it yep it should increase by one so now it's kind of boring because nothing Bruh. happens when you actually kick the sprite so for now let's add some animations so right click make this if else statement so we need to forever go to x0 y0 and then we need to point in direction and we gotta do some map plus operator 90 which is our original one sin time times sin of timer times 100 times 10 plus 90 so now we got this nice rotation effect of a size by wide operator a minus operator size 300 divided by 10 brightness effect 10 and if mouse down need to change our size by 700 which is cool and we need to set to 100 and else we need to change our size by 200 and we need to set our brightness effect to zero and now we should give this mode animation and oh we need to set our brightness effect no mistakes so now i got this really cool animation when we click our our head so the background is now really really boring like have you seen this um awesome tutorial you know you know got this thing it's it's really really cool make make sure you check it out palestly making we could actually code this so we need to set x for this sprite only camera x for all sprites so when we flat click set our clone id to 3 x to 0 then we need to create a clone x to 480 and again create a clone and both of these clones should have the clone id of 3 now we need to duplicate clone equals 3 we need to bg scroll go to back layer go forward one layer because we need it in front of the background forever loop we need to set screen x for this spread only really important to x minus camera x set x minus mod 5 480 40 times two and screen it when we flat click we need to change our camera x by five look at that this is so much better than keeping an empty background it's time for the glow because each and every clicker game has that glow sprite so after borrowing this sprite because you know scratch is all about borrowing it's all about borrowing nothing wrong there so we need to set our clone to four 
easy just need to duplicate this with phone equals four switch to our glow sprite remove this whole thing front layer and then go backward one layer forever we need to go to x0 y0 point in direction times hey timer i think we need the show block and now if we run it, we got that really awesome and cool glow because rule number one, your clicker game should have a glow. We already got a working game, but it's kind of still boring. It's time for some upgrades because rule number two, every clicker game must have an upgrade. Upgrade one, draw a full circle by bowling shift. As a pro tip, if you don't know, now we need to control C, control V, increase our size, uniformly set it to our back layer and make it a little more darker. So I want my first upgrade to increase the number of clicks. So, and yeah, I'm done with the mouse thing. So after duplicating it and naming it upgrade two, we don't need the mouse for this. Paste the head, set the outline to none. Need to fill it with this. Boom. So this is our auto clicker per second. Then we need to set our clone to six. Just duplicate if clone equals five. We switch costume to our first upgrade. And we need to actually go to X197 and Y, let's say 140. Here one, let's set the size to 100 and just drag it up here. And now we need to make two new variables called click hover for all sprite and another thing called auto click. So duplicate this whole thing and upgrade if touching mouse pointer, change our size by 100. Set our brightness to 10, mouse down, not mouse down, we don't need all of this stuff. We need to change our size by 100, set our brightness effect to 0. Upgrade price, input call price, and a label call height, input height. A new variable called price, and a type to click, just to be simple. So when we hover over this button, we need to actually drag a say block, a join operator, Click power at a space and then just put the price operator. And on top of that, we need to set our price. We could actually take this block down. We can set our price to 50 and another variable call add for this sprite only. And now what we could do is easily copy this, set our clone ID to 6, change the negative values to positive values, costume to upgrade 2, and let's say auto click and type auto. Then drag it down here. And now we need to define this. And if else to MS, so since I only have two upgrades, we need to drag the equals type equals click. If statement, so if our cash is greater than our price, drag O operator for the duplicate. If our crash equals our price, then we need to set cash to cash minus price. We need to change our click power by 1 and we need to change our add by 20. So else, which is our auto, we need to do the same thing. We need to set our click power to auto click by 1. Change add by 30, so I'll change the original price of our auto click to 100. And then on the top of the code, we need to set add to 0, set our click power to 1. And then we set our auto click to zero. So as you can see, our whole thing is a mess right now. So let's set our clone number to six. So let's just set this clone ID to six, this to six, change this to five, and change the BG score to six, four, and five. And our BG, we need to go to X zero, Y zero. BG scroll, it to go to X0, Y0. And oops, again, no mistakes. We need to set our Y to negative 140. You can see the speech bubble won't disappear, so to change that, else we need to actually say nothing. So that's a really cool hack right there. So if you didn't know, that's how you stop the speech bubble. Change our cache by click bubble. And when we reflect, click forever, we need to Wait one second, change our cache by auto click. To run it again, so our size is not working properly, so let's just that. Oops, we need to make this 200 and this 200. So now let's test all of this, so our whole head works. 
to buy our first upgrade, click power, and our click power is 70. So now our cash increases twice because we bought our upgrade. Let's uh, try our auto clicker and boom that works too this is how you can easily code a whole game inside of one sprite and there's a limitless possibilities of what you can do and there have been some really cool games which have been just made within one sprite all the things within this one sprite which is mind-blowing so if you're watching this for the video you're probably enjoying the content so make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing for more future videos like this